Regional Medical Center is the only hospital in Cortland County. It employs many wonderful, caring people who do a lot of good in our community. However, in recent years, the hospital's leadership has lost the respect of many of its employees and our community by placing profit over people and service. There's been a growing concern that cases of hospital-linked Legionnaire's disease were covered up to prevent potential lawsuits. I became aware of one such case two years ago when I spoke with the daughter of a woman who died under suspicious circumstances. She claimed that her mother died after contracting Legionnaire's disease at the Cortland Regional Medical Center. As her mother lay dying in the hospital, she was approached by representatives and was asked to sell them her home, which she had lived in for many years. The hospital wanted to turn her home into a part of their ever-expanding parking lot. She refused and soon after passed away. Since then, many witnesses who claim that they contracted Legionnaires while at the hospital, but were told that they must have been exposed elsewhere because the health department did testing that showed no signs of Legionella. There are some major issues with the Cortland County Health Department testing the water at the hospital. The Cortland County Board of Health oversees the activities of the health department. The Board of Health is an eight-member body. At least five out of the eight of the Board of Health members are affiliated with Cortland Regional Medical Center. This includes Mary Wright, who is Vice President of Nursing Services and is listed under Medical Center leadership. There is a huge conflict of interest. The health department is supposed to be a watchdog protecting the public from health issues. How can we know for sure that they will be honest about the hospital when the hospital is basically their boss? If we lived in an honest world, we would be fine. However, we live in a world where Catherine Fuhrer is the director of the Cortland County Health Department. Under her leadership, great volumes of false and misleading information has been force-fed to the public. Local businesses have been harassed and extorted. Under Catherine's watch, the County Health Department has become an organization that could be accurately described as a mentally ill medical mafia. I'll give you one of many examples I have of Catherine lying to the public. In early 2016, the Health Department attempted to begin the process of fluoridating our public water supply. She misled the public by going on news media and claiming that one in three adults has lost all of their permanent teeth. One out of every three adults in Cortland County has lost all their permanent teeth due to um, decay and gum disease. To the average person at home, that conveys a message that 33% of everyone 18 and older has no teeth. However, according to the health department's own documents, 28% of adults over 65 have lost all their teeth. That's closer to one in four. Catherine manipulated the data about our elderly population and claimed that it applied to our entire adult population. This is our health department, and the Board of Health, full of Cortland Regional Medical Center affiliates, is their boss. The testing they did on the hospital's water supply was completely inadequate. The hospital is a giant tumor of a building with a complex plumbing system. With all of the suspicious cases of Legionella exposure, there should have been thorough testing. However, for example, in 2015, Deputy Public Health Director Marianne Haley said, We looked at some cooling towers. We had them test their cooling towers. It was all voluntary at that point. I believe we also hot-gassed a fountain, one of the recreational fountains, which is in the same area. After years of inadequate testing, state-mandated testing, the kind where you actually have to do real testing and people actually pay attention, was done in November, and BAM! Legionella City. The hospital installed systems to treat the water and placed signs near water sources warning of the danger. The hospital made a statement on their website which claims that no cases of Legionnaires has been linked to the hospital and that they are making sure patients, residents, and staff are informed and safe. They said, if you hear or read anything to the contrary, it is not accurate. Let's look at the claim that they are keeping their employees informed. I went to the hospital and recorded my conversation with two elderly women at the information desk. Hi ladies, how are you doing? Um, I just have a sign about the drinking fountain. I have a family member who was in here not long ago who some of those things applied to that you know, some immune issues. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, they had been in here for a while and they were obviously drinking the water. I was just curious what that's about. Can you tell me? Well, it's from the, the state comes in and inspects the water. But I don't know specifically, but I can get somebody to help me. Okay. All right. You guys don't know what, what, what it was? 
Mm -hmm. no, when they say ice is in the water, it kills whatever it is. Please understand that I am not sharing the names and faces of witnesses due to the fact that there may be pending lawsuits. I am ready and willing to share the full information with any investigating agencies. I've created this video so you, the people of the Cortland community, will know the truth. I received a message from a woman whose daughter works in cardiology. She claims they were sent an email long after Legionella was discovered. She said the email was there, but nobody read it for a while. Another witness who works in the kitchen sent me a message through her daughter. She claims the hospital did not let the employees know until December 20th. She said multiple employees are sick and one was confirmed Legionnaires, which would be contrary to the hospital's statement that no cases of Legionnaires are linked to the hospital. She asked me to warn the public and get something done about it, saying people don't deserve to die just because they will lose money if they shut down to clean the lines. I contacted the mother who confirmed the message was from her. She was scared to lose her job. She gave me the name of a kitchen co-worker who had Legionnaires and said he got sick from the water. Referring to the Legionella, she says, we weren't told. They just put it up on the board for us to read. And I don't know if they sent us an email or not. None of us have the time or opportunity to go in and look up for emails. We're understaffed and overworked, and half of us are out sick, so we simply don't have time. I messaged her coworker who had Legionnaires. I asked him if it was true that he got Legionnaires from the hospital, and if they asked him to keep it quiet. He confirmed that yes, he did catch Legionnaires from Cortland Regional Medical Center. This is contrary to their claim that no cases are linked to the hospital. It is obvious to me that although some were community onset, Cortland Regional Medical Center has covered up cases of Legionnaires that were hospital onset. What can we do? Where can we go from here? The victims deserve justice. In my opinion, this is what needs to happen. We need a thorough investigation, perhaps by the FBI. Victims need to be identified. They will need excellent legal representation. The hospital needs to fairly compensate those victims. Anyone involved in the cover-up needs to be fired immediately. We need new leadership at the hospital, and we need honest monitoring of all health issues. Additionally, we need to drain the swamp at the Cortland County Health Department and create a new board of health free of any and all conflicts of interest. Thank you, and stay tuned, because we're not letting them get away with this one.